Good day everyone. How are you? Have you been doing good? Can I ask you one thing? I want you to remember some of your memories with your friends. Either good or bad. Just try to remember some. Have you ever been encouraged to join an academic contest by a friend? Oh, you did? Good job. Have you ever gone to a certain clubs? Where your group of friends gone? Oh, I believe you had fun with them. Or have you ever bullied? Or let's just say tease. Have you ever teased someone just because your friends are doing it and they told you to do it? That's sad. And they just start working out at the gym because your friends encourage you to join them. Wow, that's nice. But the question is, do you consider these things or situations peer pressuring? It is a very real issue that many teens across the world encounter nowadays. This can affect them in many ways, either positively or negatively. Many deceptive adverts or advertisements exist in today's society. They lure kids in all the wrong paths. Are you aware of this? I hope you are, because if today's youth are better educated, our world's future will be much brighter. Peer pressuring is that of being influenced on your behavior from a group you interact socially or professionally. It is up to the individual to choose who they wanted to be around. As a result, people begin to act in accordance with their own beliefs or lifestyle. It does give an impact on one's goal and mindset and how a person view the world. Furthermore, it is prioritizing and valuing a person or his viewpoint above all. This can occur either personally or virtually. Peer pressure may occur when people act in certain ways in order to be accepted by the people with whom they socialize. It occurs when a member of a peer group started saying, do this or you are not one of us. Do you think it's nice? They may be doing something they wouldn't typically do or they may not be doing something which they truly wanted. This could affect individual's lifestyle, either in a positive way or the other way around. People may encourage others to make negative decisions just as easily as they can encourage them to make positive ones. Most of the time, it occurs to teenagers. Sometimes, it leads to following what their peers feels right. It may influence them to go by their thinking on which they think is right. Peer pressuring can be a strong encouragement for positive behavior, and it frequently has a positive rather than negative impact, mostly on students. They can encourage one another in learning new skills or stimulate interest in books, music, or extracurricular activities. Some people get motivated when they see their friends achieve something and make them feel like they wanted to do good too. Have you ever felt or experienced that? Because me too. Students may develop and improve when they are in a positive and supportive environment. Encouraging peers may help develop leadership abilities while also motivating to study more. Simply studying with friends might help teenagers in learning and improving their grades. People are motivated by peer pressure to conduct good habits and avoid unwanted actions that their peers may disapprove of. Friends that are the right fit may offer advice, support, knowledge, 
as well as helping them develop a motivation to succeed. They have these kinds of friends. Aww, you're lucky. People may just as quickly urge people to make bad decisions as they can encourage them to make good ones. It can lead to low self-esteem, poor academic performance, detachment from the family and friends, and an increase in depression and anxiety. They are aware that bad habits are not appropriate, but they justify it with the boldness of youth and the desire to be accepted. As per that, they prioritize their friends' approval, and over that, their friends, their fr friends, or parents and instructors. Their academic performance is sometimes affected because, in order to fit in with their peer group, they prioritize being sociable above concentrating on their studies. Being bold, drugs and alcohol, alcohol are easily obtainable in college and high school campuses, right? They, because they may feel pressured to be looking cool by trying something new and reckless. When they were asked in a survey why they were they started taking drugs, 55% answered it was because their friends influenced them. Giving in to peer pressure to use drugs and alcohol, on the other hand, may rapidly put a person in over the head that leads to even worse outcomes. To wrap up, peer pressure can lead to many things, positively or negatively. But the fact is no one can stop this or avoid this as much as we all want it. So one must be wise on choosing the group of friends they would socialize. And do you remember the situation I've given you before I started? Those were all considered peer pressuring. Hope you remember. And let me tell you this before I end this speech. Take note. Whenever you say yes to other people, you must make sure that you aren't saying no to yourself. Okay? That is very, very important because you are important. And that would be all. Thank you very much for listening.